on the collection of events that make up our history as a nation view as the key defined characteristics of the institution of marriage in the United States. So mutual consent uh, between partners who freely choose each other and their commitment to establish a continuing stable relationship as the foundation for a household in which they will economically support one another and their dependents and enable themselves to compose a family. Do you believe that uh, a law recognizing and the ability of individuals of the same sex to marry would be consistent and would, would uh, include those characteristics you have just identified as being defining? Yes. Why? seems to me that couples of the same sex have expressed many of the same motivations as couples of different sex to marry and to establish stable households. And uh, in that regard, uh, especially in an era when um, families um, can have children that are not the result of biological procreation, and so many families do, that it seems to me same-sex couples fulfill the aims of marriage from the point of view of the state, and certainly it's up to any uh, partner, uh, intimate pair to decide whether they wish to be married or not, but uh, it seems to me that by excluding same-sex couples from the ability to marry and engage in this highly valued institution that um, society is actually denying itself another uh, another resource for stability and social order. So we learned also during the trial that racial restrictions on the right to marry were finally eliminated for good in Loving versus Virginia in 1967, ending laws like Proposition 8